In today's video, we'll be covering part one of our script executor series of how to make our very own multifunction script executor. So today, we'll be covering how to make our own script editor, script execution, script injection, a clear button, open file, execute file, save file, and a working draggable script executor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So guys, to start, you're going to go ahead and want to open up Visual Studio 2022, and when you do, click Create a New Project. So then, um, look for Windows Forms app.net framework with C Sharp, not Visual Basic, so select that. Press the purple Next button, and then this is where you can name your project. I'm just going to name it TYT Example 2, and then I'm going to click the purple Create button. So you will know when your project is fully loaded when it shows something like this, so I'm going to start by designing my script executor by making it like a longer rectangle shaped script executor because it's going to have a lot of buttons on it i'm going to look for the form border style and if you don't see properties select your form go over to view and then properties window so then select your form go to form border style change it to none and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for the back color i'm going to make it a darker color and then i'm going to look for the name and I'm going to change the name to Executor. I'm going to look for the text. And I'm going to change this to Executor. I'm going to look for the button and uh, toolbox. Just click View in the toolbox if you don't see it. Hold button, drag it onto your form. And now this is where you can uh, put like the buttons like Execute, Clear, Inject, all that cool stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the back color. I'm going to do 45, 45, 45. I'm going to look for the flat style, change it to flat, go to flat appearance, change the border size to zero so we don't have any of those ugly borders. So then I'm going to look for the four color, change it to white, go to the font, and I'm going to do, um, let's do normal uh, UI and then U10. I think that looks pretty decent, so let me see, that's too big. I don't know why it just rescaled itself like that, but whatever, let me just... Uh, put it back to how it was that's pretty good and then we can uh scale the button to be like about that big i'm gonna look for the text turn it to execute copy paste i'm gonna put another one right here another one right here another one right here another one right here and then we need to fit more buttons so another one right here and another one right here so there's a lot of buttons so i'm gonna uh tell you guys which uh which like uh, each button like what it means and stuff so this is execute clear open file execute file save file options or settings script hub and inject so this next one's going to be clear this next one's going to be open file this next one's going to be execute file the next one is going to be save file this one is going to be settings this one's going to be game hub and this one's going to be inject so once we have that done what we're going to do is i will have the files link in the description but so you're going to look in the files for a fast color text box all right and cloudy api so go to your references in your solution explorer right click add reference browse and select cloudyapi.dll click ok then inside a toolbox, just click, right click um, on all Windows forms, click choose items, click browse, select fast color text box at DLL, click open, click yes, and then click OK. And then look up fast color text box, and if it's not there, click build and build solution, and then it should be there. So drag it onto your form. Now this is where you can scale it. Don't make it too big though, because we're going to go ahead and go to tools, you get package manager manage NuGet packages. Now we're gonna type in city cone. Uh, look for citycone.network, uh, .net framework.ui, uh, check project, click install. And now this should install it. And um, before you, actually click cancel real quick. Click on properties in your solution explorer. Right click and then properties. Um, go to your um, framework like version. So go to, uh, make sure it's .NET Framework 4.8, by the way, not 4.7.2. And so then uh, you can go ahead and uh, download the uh, CityCone, <coughs> CityCone Net Framework UI. So install, apply, I accept, and then 
it should have everything installed now it's a kind of a big package so what you'll have to do is build build solution if it doesn't already show up and so now look for type in drag form get silicone drag form should automatically scale it at the top i'm gonna do 30 30 30 that's pretty good or let's do 35 35 35 so now when we run it uh, we should be able to drag the top of it the top of the script executor and so we can just look for the name and i'm going to name it to panel and then i'm going to look select the form and i'm going to look for start position change it to center screen now going back to the fast color text box i'm going to actually rescale that just a little bit to make it a little bit bigger i'm going to rescale it to be about this big this wide and then i'm going to click on it i'm going to change the name to editor i'm going to look for the back color and um i'm going to or the uh yeah yeah the back color and i'm going to change it to um 50 50 50 and eh, that's too bad let's do 20 20 20 to be darker i think that's too dark 30 30 30 yeah, that's pretty good just like a, the transparent back just like the forms color so that's good and then we can do the same thing for the uh, well for the four color make it white since i'm going to do like a dark color for it uh dark style for the fast color text box indent back color same thing and then we can go to the service lines color i'm gonna make it transparent so that disappears and so look for language so we can have syntax highlighting and then change it to Lua. So then we can add in a list box from the um, editor. And before you do anything else, look for um, integral height, make it false. And then look for the uh, order style, change it to none. And then name it to script list. And so we have to do all the coding, like typing it out ourselves, just because I want it to be a more educational tutorial. So I think this that looks pretty good and we can rescale it to be like that. And then I can do again 35, 35, 35. And then the font, I'm gonna do um, MSUI Gothic. 10 is good. And then I'm gonna look for the four color, change it to white. Then I'm gonna look for horizontal scroll. I'm gonna uh, enable it. And then I'm going to look for scroll always visible and then i'm going to enable that too so now that we have all this set up um i'm going to add in a label just like right here and so what i'm going to do is for the text i'm just going to name it to yt um tutorial x executor b2 and then uh normally ui i'm going to make it bold a little bit bigger Make it go down. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move them just a little bit. And so after we do that, what we can do is start by, and I'm actually going to select all these buttons and bring them down a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So then I'm going to start by clicking view and then code. Up here, I'm going to do using cloudy API. Close it off with the semicolon. And over here, we can do right above public executor private void execute or actually now let's do inject first and then we can start by doing um if cloudy api dot api dot misc dot is roblox open let me um go back is roblox open and then we can do um, another if statement inside of this if statement if cloudy api dot api dot is dot external that is injected then message box dot show and then um script executor is already injected and then error and then message box buttons dot okay and then message box icon dot error like that close it off with the semicolon and we can do else like this and then we can do cloudy api dot api dot inject or uh, external dot inject sorry and then outside of that we can do an else statement like this and then we can do 
um, message box dot show. Please open Roblox before injecting error and then message box buttons dot okay message box icon dot error like that so then what we can do is go to our inject button double click it and then just do and then just call our inject function like that and then above this we can do uh, or below uh, the inject function we're going to create an execute function so probably void execute and then we're going to do if cloudy api dot api dot is uh, external dot is injected and then we can do <coughs> um, inside these parentheses do string code and then we're going to do cloudy api dot api dot external dot um, execute code like this and then we do else um, else there we go and then we can do <clears throat> message box dot show oh my god bro message box dot show and then please inject before executing a script like this and then error and then message box buttons dot okay message box icon dot error close it off with the semicolon and so then double click your execute button and then do execute and then editor dot text close it off with the semicolon double click clear and do editor dot text equals string dot empty like this and then for open file double click it do using and then parentheses open file dialog of equals new open file dialog like that um using there we go and then if of dot show dialog equals equals dialog result dot okay and then we can do string um script file equals of dot file name and then string script code equals file dot read all text and then script file yep and then close it off the parentheses um parentheses like that and then um if you haven't already make sure you have using system.io because if you don't then there's going to be a red underline under file so after you do that what you can do is um editor dot text equals script code like that so then if we run it as you can see uh, we can drag around the script executor and I'm not going to test inject and execute right now but if I click open file as you can see it's going to prompt us to open up a file and then um, we can go ahead and look for a script to open so I'm going to look for infinite yield if I click ok as you can see it's going to load up the code into our editor like that so I can go ahead and close that out we can next do save file or execute file. Let's go ahead and do an order. So execute file using open file dialog. OF equals new open file dialog like this. And then we can do, oh yeah, yeah. Close it off with two parentheses. And then if um, OF dot show dialog equals equals dialog result dot okay. And then we're gonna do <clears throat> Just copy these two lines right here, this in here, and then um, execute, and then script code like that. After we do that, we can go into save file, double click it, using save file dialog sf equals new save file dialog, and then we can do if sf dot show dialog, or uh yeah 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 equals equals dialog result dot okay and what we're gonna do um is we're gonna do string script file equals of dot file name like this but don't do um f the file dot read all text one so do uh replace that with sf obviously and we're gonna do um file dot write all text 
and then script file editor dot uh, text like that close it off with the semicolon and so after you do that we have all of these buttons done but so the next ones that we're gonna do is settings game hub and script list but so for now i'm gonna end the video and i'm gonna turn this um video into a whole series of how to make your own script executor because it's gonna be really long if we do this whole script uh build the script executor in one video will be like three hours so this is gonna be the end of the video um if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe i'm obviously going to um create another video on the game hub script list settings the close button the minimize button how to create your own logo and like saving the code whenever you um close out the script executor and all that other cool stuff right so that's gonna be the end of the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video bye